darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Maybe come in? Uh, what's this about? No, it's okay. Just, just let us in. Uh, I don't think so. It's a matter of genesis. My name is James Giorsi, and I help people get over their genesis addictions. Well, I used to anyway. I can safely say now that I've succumbed to that addiction myself. This story is one of addiction, and of redemption, and of one man's struggle to achieve the American dream. Yeah, sorry for the mess, we are going through kind of a rough time. So, uh, are you guys here? This is why. We've been, uh, stalking you. You were stalking me? It's not a great way to start off a meeting, guys. Hey, okay, that's, that's not the point. We have an agent down. His name is, oh, was Jorge Calderon. Was? We're like pretty sure he's dead. Pretty sure? We found his body. So he's dead. He might get up soon. No, no, he's he's dead. Yeah, this is funny, really? Alright. Jorge Calderon. He was a great oh okay agent. Alright. Here's how it went. Here we see Jorge. Master agent. Well, he was okay. Oh, look at him. In his prime. Look at that stance. Just look at that. What is he doing? What? Are you kidding? A ping pong paddle? What's he doing now? Oh, he's sneaking around. He's not very good at that. Wasn't very good at that at the academy. Alright. I think he's gonna make his big move right now. Oh, it's you. Wait. I knew it was from all along. I just... Hold on. Oh, oh come on. Embarrassing. I still don't understand what this has to do with me. We believe the man who shot Jorge Calderon is the creator of Genesis. We need your help. There is no man on this planet who is more committed to the struggle against Genesis. Your book, it, it touched my heart. We, we need you. Sorry, I can't help you. I've worked too hard to keep Genesis out of my life this long. However, we've noticed that it's crept back into your life. Here's our card. Keep us in mind. Out of my house. I decided to take a walk and clear my head. I want to see my math test! That's when I had my cathartic moment. I've made a huge mistake.
but in order to fight this addiction, I needed their help. Come in. Thank you guys for coming at such a late hour. Whoa. What is this stuff? How did you get this in my house? No, that's not important. We just need to debrief you for the mission tomorrow. Please take a seat. Over there, please. Yeah, right there. That's good. Okay, so, as you know, tomorrow's mission is crucial in catching the man who created Genesis. They began to show me a bunch of cheap gadgets that I was supposed to use in the mission. Over here, we have the Malatron 8000. It is an extremely versatile weapon and can be used in many situations. Leave it to an American government agency to outsource all their gadgets to China. You guys are pretty, pretty underfunded here. I literally cannot see myself using any of these items in any situation. What? What's that? Whoa there, buddy boy. This is, this, this is mine. Okay, geez, I guess I'll take the slingshot then. Be ready at dawn. I don't know what time that is. Just be ready. Ready at dawn. Who speaks like that? Seriously, what time is dawn? All right, just uh, let's go in there. Go, go in there. Why do I have to go in there? You're the highly trained secret agent. Hey, hey, we only took four hour online course and we both got B pluses, okay? B pluses, oh, that's great. Yeah, you checked those scores on Genesis, huh? Oh, oh, oh. very funny. Oh, all, right, oh, go, very just, funny. all right, just no. go in there and take them out, all right? Can, I, le can I at least have a gun? No, 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 he might have a gun himself. This well, is for our guns, this is for us. How am I supposed you. to kill him if I don't have just a gun? Just take care of him, we give you gadgets. Right. Oh my, none of those gadgets what? work. Come on, they don't work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. So hold me. <clears throat> yes. Yes, it is me. Oh. Henry, why'd you do it? Why'd you create Genesis? Because I hate America. And I hate everything it stands for. When I first arrived to this country, I imagined the land of opportunity and freedom. The streets paved with gold. But instead, the streets were not paved with gold. Your status was determined by your wealth, and your wealth determined by how much you could crush the little guy. As soon as I created Genesis, I knew America would crumble by its own obsessive nature. No, Henry, you've got it all wrong. The American dream isn't about obtaining material wealth or crushing the little guy. It's about having the opportunity and the freedom to define wealth for yourself. Any American can reach as high as they want to go whether that be starting a Fortune 500 company or just beating an addiction. Like anything, Genesis is supposed to be used in moderation. Maybe checking it once a week. Maybe, maybe twice a week. Definitely not twice a day. That's too much. But me, Henry? This is the American dream I know. What, what does that even mean? Oh. oh, okay, that hurt. Oh, okay, uh, I have band-aids in the back. I'll be out in one second. Oh, okay, we'll resume this later. Oh, you're back. Oh, so did you take care of him? Oh, I took care of him, yeah. So you killed him? No, did not kill him. You didn't kill him? What do you want me to get blood on my forehead? No, 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 come on. It's okay, it's okay. We'll take care of him. All right, but remember, if anything goes wrong, just take this and now turn you got, the knob. Now you guys are okay with going in there? After you know I just went in there and didn't get killed? Well, now we have guns and we know that he clearly doesn't since you came out alive, so we should be good. All right, let's go. All right, come on. All right, boys, let's bring in the thunder.
That was the day that I vowed to conquer my addiction and once again start helping others do the same. It wasn't long before my second novel, Go Ask Genesis, was flying off the shelves. It was being sold just about as quickly as people were filling my clinic, which I had recently reopened. I was helping people, I was successful, and I was personally fulfilled. I was finally living the American dream.